Oh, no, no, no. Who are these people? Oh my god. Stunning. Hey guys. Okay, so I've got my popcorn. You get your popcorn. I got my cinema drink. You get your cinema drink. We're about to judge celebrities. Does anybody else have like 10 of these in their house? I don't know if we stole these or if these were given to us. But they fit the mood, right? Okay. Okay. The Oscars were last night. We need to discuss, we need to dissect, and we need to judge. Okay? I live for Oscars, Golden Globes, the Met Gala, all of that. I love it. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I have no idea who was nominated for what. This is a reaction to the red carpet because I... I'm not really in the loop with what was nominated and whatnot this year, so we're sticking to the clothes, okay? I do have the audacity to judge beautiful, rich people while I'm dressed like this. I do. I have the notions to do that. Okay, let's start off strong. We have her. Ladies and gentlemen, her. Initial reaction is, wow, love. Love the hair, love the glasses, love the edges, love the nails. I'm kind of saying I love everything except for the outfit. I do love the color. It just looks like... I don't know. I feel like the top half, yes. Those legs, they kind of remind me of something you see on Misguided. The nice section of Misguided, but Misguided nonetheless. Am I being so mean? She's giving it umph. She's making it like as if this is a music awards, you know? Just because you're in a movie doesn't mean you have to be boring. Okay, fine, fine. We'll talk about her. Zendaya. Wow, this chick. This chick, this chick always delivers. Since she was like 16, okay, maybe not 16. I think she was wearing heeled sneakers back then. She quickly has become a staple. She's quickly become someone who always looks good, still adventurous, always hits the theme at the Met Gala, which is important. Yeah, I'm all about this chick. Why am I saying chick so much? But can I say something? I'm just gonna say it. She has worn better. This girl has been locked up for the past however many months, hasn't been able to slay on any red carpet, Bam, this is the one. Let's go, give me everything. And then the top half looks like something I'd wear when I'm on holidays, going to dinner after a long day in the sun. No, I'm being such a cow, am I? No, she looks good. She gets the, from me. Margot Robbie. God, she's so beautiful. Love the fringe. I'd now like a fringe. I don't adore it. I don't adore it. It's so plain. Neckline, fine. Fine. It's safe. Very safe. This is not Oscar clothing. The print is giving me nothing. Come on, girl. I just don't... Just, these people have so much money. You can wear anything. Come on. If I was going to give her the green light, it's because she's pretty, which is not what this is about. So she's getting the red light. You're getting the red light, Margot. Leslie Odom. Mm, mm -mm. I don't like this. I don't like the material. I don't like the material. Am I being such a beast? Oh, I like his ring. I like the gold though. Do you know what? No, I like that we're wearing something that's not a black suit. We love that. What would I have done different? I mean, maybe ironed it? <laughs> okay, Viola Davis. Okay, Um, white looks good on her, but it looks like a bad wedding dress. I don't think the top suits the bottom. Who do I think I am with the Jimmy Choo clutch? Don't even like the clutch. The clutch looks like something you'd get in Claire's accessories. I don't like it. I don't like it. Regina King. Regina Queen. I love this. Do I? No, I do. I love this. The shoulders are great. Looks like she's about to take flight. Looks like a hot, revamped, cool Cinderella. Green light. You're through to Las Vegas. I think I'm gonna butcher every single person's name, but Amanda Seyfried? I love it. Love the red. Not sure about the makeup. Could probably be fresher. <laughs> I feel like it's it doesn't suit. Why am I trying to explain this like as if I know something? But as someone who just buys clothes on Urban Outfitters, it's going to get a green light for me. Reese, w Reese Witherspoon. That belt? No, that's terrible. That is like dead stress with a belt over it. That is not good. Red light. We're not discussing it anymore. She, she's done. Halle Berry, hallelujah. I like this. The color is so flattering on her. I don't know if I adore this clot of fabric in the front. Is the carpet pink this year? Am I wrong? That doesn't look red to me. Anyways, Halle Berry, you look good. Hair, a little bit like the designer in The Incredibles, but you're beautiful. 
if, if you're watching, like, hello. Jeez. Terry Mulligan. I like it. I like it. I think the shape of the bottom, I think the shape in general is lovely. I don't adore sequences. Sequins give me like kids clothes and pennies vibes, you know? I'm sure this costs a lot more than kids clothes and pennies. It looks great. Riz Ahmond, you're giving me nothing, man. Nothing. So plain. So boring. You're going to the Oscars. You realize that, right? Why did you wear that? You look like you're going to dinner with your friends in Brooklyn. Like, come on. Boring. You're not getting any more airtime. No. Ooh! Ooh! Angela Bassett. Wow, I like this. Oh, and the little purse, the lips. Why do I feel like Amy Cook would have that purse? Actually, I think Amy Cook has that purse. Look, that is not a red carpet. That is not a red carpet. Laura Dern. Babe. She looks like Sesame Street, Big Bird. She's like Big Bird's rich auntie. I don't think she was going for that. It's like two separate dresses and could have been cool, but I don't like it. Ooh, emerald fennel. You look like an emerald fennel. Florals are never going to be it for me. And roughly florals? Girl, no. You look like the sales section of Urban Outfitters. This is Lakeith Stanfield. This looks like the silhouette, like the shape of this. This is like a Harry Styles fit. Like that's a good fit. You got the little waist going on. We've got the stronger in the shoulders. The pants are long. Oh my God, I love this. Even the belt's okay. <gasps> Nail polish? Come on, I love this. Coleman Domingo looks fire. You're doing something, you know? Maybe some of this is a little extra. Good, you, you are at a very big thing. I hate nothing more when people don't show up. If someone gives you a theme for a birthday party, go, do it. It's disrespectful if you don't. And it's disrespectful to the Oscars if you don't show up. Who's next? Brad Pitt, plain Jane. Looks like an old surfer dude. It's fine, it's Brad Pitt. He's allowed. I'm truly enjoying myself. I hope this video was fun because I'm enjoying myself. Oh, I love, I love this. Juliana Rancic, the queen of E, looks stunning. I feel like if I was going to the Oscars and I wasn't there to shut the place down, but just to like look good, this is what I'd wear. That is beautiful. Good job. Good job. Oh, zoomed in look of Margot Robbie. Her makeup is so fresh. Wow. And her little pearl earrings. She looks so Australian. She's so Australian, isn't she? Andrew Day, wow. I don't know about this dress. It's a little Kardashian-y. The slit is so high. I see her butt cheek. I don't know if I want to see anyone's butt cheek at the Oscars. I mean, maybe a do, to be honest. But her makeup and the color. She looks like an Oscar. I must say, I'm not really obsessed with anything here. A bit disappointed. Again, like, it's the first big chance to dress up after quarantine. I mean, you and me know when the June 21st for Ireland comes around and we're allowed to go out. We are showing up like brunch. I am there head to toe, glammed out. I'm not even a glam girl. I'm going to be glammed out. These people didn't even glam out and they see Oscars. I don't know if I made this up or not, but I think I saw a video of Glenn Close twerking at the Oscars. Am I wrong? Let's see I'm scrolling through these and skipping so many of them because they're just so plain. Oh, oh God. Corey Ray, I do not know who you are, but you look like you got your period or something. G girl, a blind person who got their period. I already regret saying that, but I also stand by that. Someone took up tie dyeing for their quarantine hobby and it did not pay off. No, no, sunglasses? This is not good, the shoes. The shoes, these shoes should have been mentioned in my trends that should have died years ago video. The studs, they're giving me galaxy legging outfit vibes. I'm sorry, Corey Ray, I don't even know who you are, but you did not deliver. Okay, okay, so Ashton Sanders, plain back black suit. I was actually taken aback because it kind of is a really nice suit. And then he has lace gloves. I really like that. That is so subtle, but makes such a difference. Green light for me. Oh, no, no, no. Who are 
these people? Elvira Lind? She has the mask around with the pearl necklace? No. This whole outfit looks like the second room in the G Hotel. You know the room. You know what I mean. The mask. Oh my god. This is tragic. Uh-uh. No. Oh, I love this. I think this might be one of my favorites. I don't even know who this is. Garrett Bradley in Alexandre Vautier. Alexandre Vautier. Wait, why can't I pronounce any of these? I'm getting really embarrassed. I should know how to pronounce this stuff. This is stunning though. Very flattering, like fits her so lovely. And the earrings. She looks rich, luxurious, but she still looks like youthful and fresh and beachy. Amazing. I think this is my favorite. Where, like, I went on to Instagram this morning and all I see is Zendaya, Zendaya, Zendaya. I'm like, of course, she deserves the moment. But, like, where are these people? She looks beautiful. I don't know these people, but does my hair look gray? Am I, have I been exposed for putting on dry shampoo today? I've been exposed. Can you tell? I cannot believe I'm judging people on their looks. Anyways, what I was trying to say was, I don't know, these people, Dana Murray and Pete Doctor. She looks stunning. Like she's like Lauren Conrad look, tan, like California girl. The top of it, gorgeous. Everything gorgeous, except it does look like she took a massive dump in her dress. Okay, that's enough for me. What do we think? Are we disappointed? Which was your favorite? Ooh, comment down below your favorite. I think my favorite was, oh my God, I forget her name. That red dress. Was really nice. I also really liked Juliana Round Six. I really liked Lakeith Stanfield in the jumpsuit. Disappointing. I cannot wait till the cinemas are open. Like, cannot wait. I think I'm more excited for the cinemas than the clubs. That's a bit of an embarrassing statement, isn't it? Should I stop now? I think I'm gonna stop now. Thanks for watching, guys.